Hello everyone, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video. Today, this episode, we are going to go over my cotton field prep. This will also give you 100% fertilization. First of all, this is the fields we're dealing with, field 6, 12, and 13. This is my cotton field. Pretty good sized field. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Start out first with the fertilizer. Got my worker ready to go, hire them up. I like this fertilizer because it goes 15 miles per hour. So I can go ahead and run my other equipment right in a nice line behind him. So this being a cotton field, we do have to plow, cultivate the field. We cannot use a direct planter or a seeder. We have to cultivate and then use a planter. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the cultivator ready to go. And of course, you can do this on your own if you want. You don't have to hire workers, but you will have to buy your seed and your fertilizer from the store, you know, on the, uh, in the pallets and crates section. Okay, cultivator is going. Now we're going to follow the cultivator with the cedar. <clears throat> or the planter, pardon me. Cultivator is missing part of the uh, row over there. That's all right. Let's take of this video. It's not a big deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and come here and talk about the uh, planter really quick. <clears throat> let's get him lined up, though. Yeah, and with cotton, uh, my experience so far, you definitely want to have 100% fertilization in the field. Means you have to go over your field two times. The first time with the fertilizer like I showed you, and then you'll follow with a fertilizer of your choice after you put the cotton in the ground or your seeds in the ground. Now this particular uh, planter, let's take a look really quick so I can show you. It's this one right here. No, I do not want to sell it. The YP2425A, Great Plains. Nice big one, 18.2 meters, nine miles per hour. And as long as you have a symbol for cotton or the corresponding plant symbol, you can use it. Your direct seeders will not seed cotton or sunflowers, for example. Okay, so we should be ready to get this guy going. Let's get him going. And let's go ahead and get ready to follow up with our last fertilizer vehicle. I like to use these self-propelled fertilizer trucks. And the reason I chose both of these is because of their speed. Now I know you can get your own truck and you can go ahead and use your own, uh, get your own, uh, you know, whether it's a slurry tank, a manure spreader, or a fertilizer uh, unit to pull behind it. But to have this work effectively, and this is for any type of field or whatever you're doing, speed is very important. And let me show you this really quick. Come to crop protection. Got this one right here. He has a big reach. 40. 48.5 meters, 15 miles per hour. He's going to stay ahead of any cultivators, planters, or seeders you have out there. This guy right here, 7 miles per hour. Perfect speed to follow up everything with. And the nice thing about this uh, fertilizer is you can either spray out the back. So I don't know if it's going to let me spray. Usually it doesn't let me uh, start spraying until the plants have popped up. But I must have waited long enough to where uh, it's let me do it now. So this guy here, you can either spray out the back or you can spread the uh, booms out on the side. Either way, you're gonna get the same amount of spread from what I can tell. So this is our cotton prep. This is what I do with cotton prep. Now let's just make sure nothing's gonna have a conflict with anything else and we look pretty good. Okay. 
It's cool. We're on our way. There'll be a separate follow-up video on the harvest here because we should have a nice 100% harvest. Some nice big fat bells. Let's go to the store really quick and uh, take a look at uh, a couple of things. <coughs> Obviously, to cultivate your uh, field, you either use a plow. Plows don't have that wide of spread. You can use a power harrow, but there again, you don't have that wide of a spread. Cultivator. This is what I like to use here. This is the one I'm using right here, 186. And keep in mind your horsepower. This is why I'm using the tractors that I'm using because of the horsepower. I had some uh, tractors that had like 550 horsepower and they were going a lot slower. So I decided to go with one of these uh, track related ones up here. Went with this guy here, updated the engine setup. 692 horsepower spendy but hey if you have a big field you're going to get the money in no time flat so this is your cotton field preparation guys and i'll see you on the next video where we talk when it's ready to harvest and we can go over the yield i'm shooting for at least six full bells and then of course i'll have the partial bells that i unpack from the machines and keep in mind when the spinnery is in high demand I'm getting like 98,000 per full bell when it's in high demand. That's a pretty good uh, harvest for this size field. Anyways, guys, keep safe, and I'll see you on the next video.